Hey guys and welcome back to the Money Game with AC. Quickly update. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> I like that state. The Massachusetts Securities Regulators on Thursday asked that Robinhood Financial LLC registration as a broker dealer in the state to be revoked to prevent the popular online brokerage from doing business there. You know, so how is this good for AMC and all the other high shorted stocks? Well, first of all, it's a confirmation of what some of us have been thinking so far about um, around um, the business model of Robinhood of following the restrictions they put in place when AMC and GameStop were at the top, okay? And they prevented people from buying. This is anti-capitalistic. This is anti-freedom. This is anti-liberty. This is anti-everything. And on top of it, it's, it's borderline on illegal. Just because you cannot prevent me from buying a stock I love. You cannot prevent me from using margin restrictions into your brokerage in order to prevent me from, you know, investing my money into the company I love. Or for whatever reason, I want to invest that money into that company. So personally, I think it was totally wrong. And now the fact that a state is revoking or it's, you know, demanding the license or the registration of Robinhood to be removed in the state, you know, it's just a confirmation of, you know, the thoughts that I'm not alone to have or may have had at that point of time. So how is it good for AMC? Remember, Robin Hood and Citadel work together, right? If you didn't know that, now I'm telling you. And Citadel is one of the, uh, 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 the biggest shorts into the AMC position right now, okay? They are the one with billions of shares, I'm, I'm, I mean, talking about billions of shares, at least billions of dollars being used to attack the share price of AMC. So they are, they are the, the most to lose something here, okay? And the fact that Robinhood may start being in trouble if more than one state is looking into revoking their registration because the orders that Robinhood receives from, you know, their clients are being sent in blocks to Citadel. And that's how Robinhood makes a lot of money or makes some of the money of the revenues, uh, um, even though it's free commission for us, the final client, okay? So if Citadel, if Robinhood is in trouble, then Citadel might end up having um, 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 less shares to be lended towards them in order to use those to short, not only EMC stock, but other stocks as well. So that being said, it might end up having Citadel, you know, having less firepower, having less bullets, you know, into their, uh, 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 um, into um, whatever they need to do in order to continue to attack the share price. Okay, so it reduces the firepower. In the meantime, we do continue to hold, we do continue to buy, and um, that may be the catalyst we are waiting for, or the additional catalyst to force them to cover you know, because the buying pressure will definitely be outstanding the selling pressure. So that's how it might not be as seen now, but in the long run or the mid, I mean, in, I mean, the short run, if this continues to grow, you know, around states, man, Citadel is going to be in trouble. And uh, whenever they're going to be in trouble, that's good news for you because we're winning. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.